Scientists deepest dive through tiny hole in Antarctica ice, what they found got them stunned. Antarctica researchers decided to dive into a small hole that had appeared in the ice, and what they found below left them stunned, a documentary revealed. Amazon Prime's Antarctica, an adventure of a different nature revealed how in 1991, a group spotted a small hole in the ice sheet above a pond where they were working. Two divers then headed below the frozen desert. Video footage shows them exploring underwater ice glaciers, as one of the divers repeatedly states, it's amazing. The narrator then reveals what they witnessed. He says, we're inside a moving glacier. No other film like this exists because no one has seen caverns like this before. Here, scientists would expect only rock-hard ice. So Antarctica reminds us again that we have scarcely begun to understand our planet. However, although it is the first discovery of its kind, it is not the first time researchers have dived below the waters of the icy continent. It was revealed during the same series how our team dug six feet into the ice to take a look at the marine life of the South Pole. The series explained, the ice is six feet deep. This is where Antarctica hides its color and complexity, in forests of tiny plants called algae grow in the ice like a greenhouse. Millions of krill, which are like small shrimp, eat the algae. Fish eat the krill and seals eat the fish. The cameras panned around the deep waters, revealing a habitat beaming with life, before the narrator revealed how important this dive was. He detailed, this chain of life is so isolated and balanced it gives scientists clues to the health of the whole planet. Diving here is agony for the first 20 minutes, after that, it becomes dangerous. The divers then surfaced again and were helped out of the water. Before that, scientists made an equally amazing discovery about the history of our planet from the ice of Antarctica. The group drilled almost 500 feet into an ice sheet to learn about how global warming is affecting the region during the same documentary. The documentary's narrator added, Ice layers can read like the rings of trees and the climate record goes back 100,000 years. Entrapped bubbles of ancient air, the ice cores tell a simple story. When the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere change, so does the climate. From the crystal of the ice, the news from Antarctica is bad. Methane, strontium-90, lead, increased carbon dioxide, we are changing the air and we can see the effects. In May 1985, Joseph Farman, Brian Gardner and Jonathan Shanklin observed a decline in the polar ozone was far larger than believed. The discovery of the ozone hole was initially rejected as unreasonable but later studies showed that the concerns were valid. Since 1991, the United Nations Environment Program has sponsored a series of technical reports on the scientific assessment of ozone depletion to reverse the effects. In 2007, a report was released that showed the hole in the ozone layer was recovering and was the smallest it had been for around a decade. The 2010 paper read, over the past decade, global ozone and ozone in the Arctic and Antarctic regions is no longer decreasing but is not yet increasing. The ozone layer outside the polar regions is projected to recover to its pre-1980 levels before the middle of this century.